sells out fast, so you should aim to be there right when the shop opens. Got it? Things look quiet here. You're not running any sneaking in specials? Hey, it's you! Welcome back! You're not gonna believe how perfect your timing is. We've got monsters infesting the whole industrial area. Things I've never seen before. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, right? So I've created a new tour. An extreme action-adventure vacation right here. Death Safari. A battle against ferocious monsters. I came up with the title myself. But let me guess, no takers yet, right? Bunch of wimps, these tourists. But not like you, though. You can handle anything. Why don't you go in there and kill all the monsters? Clean the place out. You'd be doing me a favor, so I could offer you a discount on the usual rate. So you want me to pay for the privilege of helping you? Did I say discount? I meant to say 100% free, no charge. Okay, I'll do it. So all you want from me is to fight any monsters I come across. Nothing fancy, right? That's the spirit. I knew you'd be into it. And yeah, just fight them as they come. But bring back any items they drop so we can make a tally. Anything else I should know? Just the usual stuff. You know how it works. No guarantees at your own risk. Don't blame us if you die, etc., etc. Good luck. Your soul belongs to me.
What should I steal from you? to a dying world. Perhaps I'll steal your heart. Your light is mine. This was your finale. Light is mine. <sighs> to the victor, the spoils. Light's life is the greatest treasure. Hey lady, can you hear me? Congratulations! You just completed the death safari! Oh, 
here going, but no one's shown up. There she is! Nice work! So, how'd you enjoy the adventure tour? Any feedback for the next one? It might be too dangerous for regular tourists. On the other hand, I found it too easy, to be honest. Too easy, huh? I had a feeling you might say that, which is why I've laid on a special bonus tour. And here's the ticket. It's a special event being held in the warehouse district. Invitation only. If you head over to the warehouses, you'll find Biggs waiting for you. Just show him a ticket. A special event? You mean a dangerous event, right? I'm interested. You bet it's dangerous. <laughs> I guarantee it. Except that's against company policy. <laughs> you know, lady, you're a real inspiration to the likes of me. It's too late for me in this life. But if I do end up being reborn, I'm gonna grab life by the reins and make something of myself. Say, tell me your name. You know, just in case we meet in the next world. Mine's Wedge. I'm Lightning, and I'll see you around, Wedge. I have Renolf's journal, I know who was behind the murders of his wife and child. You've been running ever since. You even faked your own death. I knew someone would make me. You got me, so you know everything. Yeah, I did it. I killed his family. I took the lives of his beautiful wife and daughter. All for a little money. The one who hired me had a rival business, and he wanted Renolf out of the game. He's long gone, though. Passed away some time ago. After you took care of business for this man, did you also steal the journal? Again, that was me. Years after the incident, something happened to Renolf. One day, he just seemed to forget the whole thing ever happened. I thought it was a lucky break on my part. I figured it was the best thing for all of us. But why didn't you just dispose of it? It would have been easier than giving it to someone for safekeeping. And if it links you to the crime, why help me find it? Guilt. I was too much of a coward to turn myself in, but I think I was waiting for someone to figure it out. I wanted this day to come. I'm tired of running. Turn me in, arrest me, do what you want. It's not up to me to decide your punishment, not even the order. I'd say it's up to Renolf, wouldn't you? 
So be it. I'll be right here waiting for retribution. Hey, I know you don't owe me anything, but do me a favor, will you? Don't tell my son about this, okay? That's all I ask. Who's your son? Name's Marlon. He's my stepson. A good kid. He's nothing like me. Got his own business and everything. Marlon? He's not a baker by any chance, is he? You know him? Even though I'm not his real father, he sends me money on a regular basis. You know, to get by. He has a good heart. I couldn't ask for a better son. I really don't deserve a boy like him. Light. Isn't Marlon the boy Renolf is so fond of? The one who bakes him those muffins that he loves so much? This does complicate things, but Renolf insisted he wants to know the truth, and that's what I'm gonna give him. Really? Even though something like this could ruin their friendship? Do you think Renolf's prepared for that, after losing his family all over again? Once had a bit of a scuffle. should know your limit. Lackley. Hey, wake up. Excuse me, but who are you? And how is it you know Lackley? I don't know him too well, but he asked me to find his lost fiance. I've come to tell him about this lead I've found. About Filiana? But where did... At a restaurant in Yusnan. Apparently, there was an old woman working there who wore the same ring that Lackley gave to his fiance. And when her health failed, that woman went to stay with a friend who lived in... Huh. What? what is it? Is there something wrong with my hat? According to the man I talked to at the restaurant, the friend who came to pick up the elderly lady was wearing an unusual hat. You seem familiar enough with Lackley. You also knew Filiana's name. Was it you? <sighs> Let me explain. Lackley and Filiana and I are friends from long ago. I'm Sila, and yes, I'm the one who escorted that old woman from the shop in Yusnan. Care to tell me why? Sure, but can we go elsewhere? I don't want Lackley to hear this. There's a graveyard with no name. You know of it, don't you? It's beyond North Station, on the outskirts of town. <laughs> oh. oh, good. He's still sleeping. Come to the graveyard later so we can talk. plan on losing.
You can't break me down. You can't read me. What's your most valuable treasure? Thanks for coming. Before I tell you anything, can you promise you won't pass this information on to Lackley? That depends on what you have to say. <sighs> I suppose that's fair enough. I hardly know where to begin, though. Um... How about I start, then? The old woman working at that restaurant in Yusnan had the same ring as Lackley's, the same as his fiancée's. Why? For the most obvious reason, of course. That old woman was none other than Filiana. The person Lackley's been trying so hard to find. After she left him, she began working under a fake name. That's surprising. The way Lackley described her, well, she's not what I expected. He wasn't lying. She was a real beauty, once. We don't know how or why, but something happened to her. In this world where everyone stopped aging, she was the one and only person who managed to grow old over the past years. It began right around the time she and Lackley first got engaged. But why? Why would it be possible for one person alone to escape the stasis in this world? And are you saying that's why she left Lackley and disappeared from his life? She said the last thing she wanted to do was become a burden to him. But I know she missed him. She always wanted to know how he was doing. She loved nothing more than hearing stories about him, no matter how banal they were. Back when she could still walk, she told me how she would sometimes pass by him in the streets. She never said anything to him. And he never could have guessed that the old woman he saw was his beloved fiance. That's why he never found her after all this time, no matter how hard he searched. Yes. Year after year, she aged more and more. And her body began at last to fail. She's free from that pain now. Finally. I see. I'm glad she was able to find peace. No! No. Lackley! I wouldn't have cared how old my Filiana looked. I loved her with every fiber of my being. My only wish was to spend every day with her until the end of the world. Filiana, why did you have to... No! Lackley. Lackley. Sheila. I don't want you to worry about me. Remember what you told me before, when we met? If there's still hope in this world, maybe I'll find Filiana, right? Yeah, I remember saying that. So now I've just proven there's no hope. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying I need to find my own hope, for me. I can't wait around for any god or savior. And even if my hopes get dashed, or they never come true. At least in my heart, I'll know she's watching over me from somewhere. I'm done being a fool who runs to the bottle every time something goes wrong. That's not me. I want to show Filiana, wherever she is, that I'm still the man she fell in love with. The man I used to be. That's what she would want. Could you give me that ring? Here. Thank you. You've... You've helped me find some hope of my own, while I was supposed to be looking for yours.
war. Keep in mind that it's almost time for you to return to the Ark. <laughs> Get your freshly baked muffins! I'm so sorry, but I'm out of flour, so I haven't been able to bake today. Oh, Marlin, you're so kind to come all this way just to tell me that. Never mind, I'll just have extras tomorrow. You won't have to wait that long, I promise. I'll be back later. I've decided to tell Renolf the truth. The cold, harsh unforgiving truth of his past, even though it could cause him to lose a dear friend. Renolf, I know who killed your family. He lives right here in Luxarian. He's been in hiding since he committed that crime. Are you sure? Who is he? The man's name is Reddick. His home is in the Warren for obvious reasons, and I found out something else about him too. But I'm not sure you really want to hear it. I'd like to know, please. I'm done running from the past. I'd even forgotten about the family I once loved. From now on, I'm seeing things for what they really are. All right. This Reddick, the man who killed your family, he has a stepson. His name... It's Marlin. <sighs> what? You mean, my Marlin? What are you going to do? Are you going to inform the Order of this information that's come to light? Or do you want to take matters into your own hands? I... I'd rather not do anything. I just want to continue spending my days just like this. Nothing more. After all, we have few days left. You forgive him? No, but I'd rather Marlon didn't know. Imagine what it would be like to find out your father is a killer. You've helped me discover the truth, and I have no regrets. But Marlin's innocent. What would be the point of burdening him with this sort of knowledge? His smile is what kept me going all this time. His friendship is what saved me. I don't want revenge. I also don't want to be the reason Marlin loses his father. If that's what you want, 
I'll respect your wishes. The case has already been closed, and the suspect declared dead. No reason to bring him back to life now. Thank you. My family would have wanted it this way. I can almost feel them smiling at me from above. Besides, I wouldn't want anything like this to stop Marlin from baking those delicious muffins of his. <laughs> I'll continue to chronicle my life in my journal. But only about the precious moments I spent with my wife and daughter. I just want to document my memories. I want to leave proof of their existence. The scenery today is the same as yesterday. But for Renolf, nothing is the same. His entire world has changed. The past can never be undone. Yet, he has chosen to exempt a stranger from punishment. He didn't need saving, just someone to remind him of his strength and courage. Welcome to our hotel. Sacred Tree of Light. Yggdrasil. You survived another day. she try to break into the Order's Cathedral and stop the ceremony? Listen, when the final day arrives, Fang is going to try to save Vanille. I'm sure of it. And what about you? Will you try to stop Vanille? Stop the Soul Song? You know it's God's will that it takes place. Have you forgotten he's holding my sister hostage? At the promise of her return, anyway. I've got to do what he wants, or else. Interesting answer. Some people might take that to mean, if it wasn't for the threat, you would consider defying him. Some people might? What about you? Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. I'm sorry, Light. I didn't mean to sound like I don't. I'll always be on your side, even if you do decide to turn against God. You know that. <laughs> 